Seattle police officers are learning lessons from their peers in Connecticut who were responding to that deadly mass shooting at an elementary school. You might remember in December 2012, 26 people, including 20 children, died in the Sandy Hook school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. Well, the officers that responded to that tragedy were speaking at a national gathering that was taking place in Appleton. Fox 11's Alex Winalo tells us some of what they shared. These families put these, these little first graders on the bus to go to school with a lunchbox and backpack. They never came home. That just is, it's, it's just insurmountable, something you can never, ever understand. The emotions of the Sandy Hook shooting are still raw for Connecticut State Police Lieutenant J. Paul Vance. His department responded to the tragedy and led the criminal investigation after. It doesn't matter how tough you are, how old you are, how long you've been doing the work. Um, we made sure, and to this day, 18 months later, we still make sure that our people are, as I'll call it, okay. That's something Vance shared with local police officers and educators in Appleton Monday. He says ensuring officers' emotional health after the shooting has been crucial, something local law enforcement appreciates. Some tremendous lessons learned from here, what the Connecticut State Police did for their employees, but also how they reached out uh, on, a, on a real in-depth level uh, to stay with families who lost children and adults in this incident. One of Vance's peers shared information from the criminal investigation. Vance says the more officers who can learn from it, the better. We want the best possible law enforcement that we can have in this country. Hence, we all share. Another important lesson? ensuring the police and schools work together. Police officers talk about that all the time, that when a critical incident happens, they fall back on their training. Our challenge is to make sure our schools feel the same way, um, and, and information like this certainly helps towards that. Our schools can't be prisons, but they certainly have to be secure, and we have to do everything we can to protect our children. In Appleton, Alex Rinaldo, Fox 11 News. The training conference runs through Wednesday, and it covers all sorts of school safety topics. It's put on by the National Criminal Justice Training Center at Fox Valley Technical College.